Hi, it's Barney Milner with Caldwell Banker Hartside Realtors in Newtown, Pennsylvania, in Bucks County. Thanks for watching another issue edition of my um, video blog. Today, I'm going to review with you seven closing costs that um, primarily on the buyer side um, could impact um, and will impact how much money you need to buy a house. Um, I got a question the other day from a first time home buyer um, who was surprised uh, by how much closing costs were in total and I thought it would be a good topic to discuss. Some of these um, uh, topics I've actually done um, videos that go into a lot more depth out of each individual topic but anyway let's look at seven closing costs again primarily from the buyer side that will impact how much money you need to buy a house. So first title insurance. Uh, I did a nine minute video uh, where I interviewed a, a title insurance um, expert that went into a lot of detail about options for title insurance but just keep in mind that um, when you close on a house you're going to have to pay title insurance. Um, those rates in, in Pennsylvania are what we call statutory meaning that based on the price of the house you pay uh, the, the state uh, or the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania actually determines what that fee uh, will be. Um, second, uh, loan fee. So uh, um, loan origination, um, if you're paying points, um, appraisal fee, sometimes the appraisal fee is paid outside of closing, um, but again it's an element of closing costs that you need to be aware of. Um, third, taxes, and this is a big one, um, there's actually two components of taxes um, that you need to be aware of when you buy a house. The first is uh, when you close on the property, um, if you are escrowing for property taxes, meaning that your mortgage company is going to pay it, the bank is going to set up a closing. Um, they're going to ask you to put aside a sum of money so that when the property taxes are due next, the mortgage company has money to pay those taxes. And the second element of that are tax reimbursements back to the seller uh, because the seller will have inevitably prepaid taxes for the period of time, you know, for the balance of the year, uh, but they won't be in the house. So you have to reimburse the closing, the seller for the taxes, the property taxes that they've already paid. Um, next, uh, and this is a big one um, that sometimes people overlook, um, in Bucks County there's a transfer tax um, and every county is different. New Jersey actually handles this differently from Pennsylvania, but in Bucks County the transfer tax is 2% um, and for all practical purposes it's split uh, between the buyer and seller. So if you're on the buyer side, you're going to incur a 1% uh, fee at closing for the transfer tax. It's 1% of the sale price of the house that you're buying. Um, the fourth, I'm sorry, the fifth uh, component that I wrote down, homeowner's insurance. And again, this can be paid outside of closing, but when you settle on a house, you need to um, have paid uh, one year in advance of um, homeowner's insurance. Um, so there are times when, you know, that's paid ahead of time. Uh, sometimes it's actually paid at closing. In either case, it is uh, a closing cost that you need to be aware of. Um, sixth, uh, and this is um, also something uh, that comes up you know on every transaction prepaid interest so when you settle on a house um, you pay interest from the day you close um, till the end of that particular month and actually your first mortgage payment and is then due the month following the month that you actually close so from the perspective of what it costs out of pocket at settlement um, as the element of closing costs um, if you settle in the beginning of the month, you're going to owe, in essence, a full month of interest um, out of pocket at settlement. And that actually is why uh, more often uh, than not, you know, there are more closings that happen at the end of a month, towards the end of a month, than at the beginning. Um, again, it's just uh, less money out of pocket. Of course, your first mortgage payment would, is due sooner. Um, but again, in terms of what you actually have to incur as a closing cost, um, the prepaid interest is smaller the later in the month that you settle. And finally, the seventh and last element of closing costs um, for the buyer, um, I, I just refer to as miscellaneous. So there's going to be some miscellaneous fees like recording fees, um, there, there's going to be uh, um, possibly uh, conveyancing. Um, they're, they're relatively minor, but again, they, you know, they do come up and you need to be aware of it. So um, again, I hope this is uh, helpful. I can give you an example of closing costs for any property at any price point um, in, in my um, area. Uh, just call me 215-519-1399. Shoot me a text. If you're interested in the long video about title insurance, again, you know, reach out to me and I'll, and I'll send that to you. So hope this was helpful. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day.